First, you're going to tear a long piece of tape. Then place it on your paper. This is your first tree, so it should be angled slightly, and you're going to make it go off of the top of the paper. Then you'll have a second piece of tape. Match up the bottoms to create the letter of a V. Then make another V on the right side of your paper. Slightly angle the third tree. And then add a fourth tree. With watercolor, make a blue arc on the bottom. This should go over both of the bases of the trees. This is going to be the ground. You're going to fade it to white using plain water towards the bottom of your arc. Then sprinkle salt into the blue watercolor while it is wet. If you do it after it has already dried a little bit, it will not work. Then hold your paintbrush loosely to paint purple at the top of your paper. You'll cross over all of the trees that you have taped down. While this watercolor is still wet, you'll grab pink for your next color. Blend it slightly into your purple. I hold my brush loosely when I do this to make arcs. Then we're adding red after the pink and then orange, mixing up into the red area. Then I wash my brush before I grab the yellow. And again, I can use just water with the yellow to make it fade at the bottom. You're gonna go all the way down until you touch the blue. Make sure all of the white space is filled in. Let the paint dry. You might have to leave it overnight. When it's dry, slowly peel the tape off of the paper. You can tell what happens when I did not wait for my paper to dry all the way and I get a splatter of paint from the tape. So you really want to make sure that you're waiting until your paint has dried. Then you will use the side of a piece of cardboard to dip into black tempera paint. You're using the cardboard at an angle to scrape from one side of each tree over to the other. You want some of the white of the paper to still show through. You only want a small amount of paint on the cardboard. Feel free to turn your paper if it's easier for you. Notice how one side of the tree looks dark because it's in the shadow and one side of the tree is light Now I'll do it again on the other two of my trees, swiping from one side of the tree across to the other, leaving some of the white. By stamping the side of the cardboard on the remaining white area, you can create texture to make it look like the tree, a little bit rougher. Notice how I moved my body over so that I could more easily swipe. After that is done, you'll get just a little bit more paint on the side of your cardboard to create sticks or branches coming off of the tree. Do this in about two or three areas on each tree. Touch up where needed, and then it should be done.